Hi everyone, welcome back to your channel I Love Pharmacology. In this small session, let us learn about a very important topic that is physiological antagonist. You should not leave this topic before going to your any entrance exams or during your final year, especially the pharmacology exams. So let's see what is physiological antagonist. So the term itself says that physiological antagonist. So something must be in a body which is acting on a system and this will be physiological in nature. So if it is producing some response, it has to act through some receptor and it should act on the system. Simultaneously, whenever physiological state of response is obtained, what will happen is will produce some response so antagonist means there is some drug which will going to amper or alter the response of the physiological agonist which is present in the body so let's see which is that physiological agonist as well as physiological antagonist So the simple meaning of understanding this physiological antagonist is there is a two drugs remember so among this two drug one will be a physiological agonist and another will be a physiological antagonist. So whenever these two drugs are combined so what will happen the responses will be in a opposite direction responses will be in a opposite direction but one should remember that these two drugs will act on the will act on the same system same system but they bind to different receptors on the system so the two drugs having opposite responses will bind to the different receptors on a single system to produce an opposite response simple word uh, action of two drugs will be in opposite direction when it binds to the different sites on the tissue or a different sites on the single biological system. So let us take an example. So if there is a contraction of the smooth muscles. So one such physiological agonist you can name which can cause a contraction of a smooth muscle is a histamine. So if this smooth muscle is present in the bronchus what will happen when you give a histamine so there is a contraction of the smooth muscles in the bronchus leading to bronchoconstriction this will lead to difficulty in breathing because the bronchial airways becomes narrowed so what will be the antagonist that means that will overcome the contraction of the smooth muscles so as you know that in the bronchus you also have a receptor which can relax the bronchial smooth muscles so relaxation of the smooth muscles will be done by the adrenaline and it will going to produce the bronchodilation bronchodilation so so which are the receptor which is present on the bronchial smooth muscles so the two drugs which are acting and producing opposite action on a single system acting on a different receptor example is your histamine and the adrenaline histamine and adrenaline are the two drugs they act as a physiological antagonist so which is the physiological antagonist here so adrenaline forms the physiological antagonist of the histamine and they are producing two different responses opposite response one is producing the bronchoconstriction and adrenaline is producing the bronchodilation so but they act on the different receptor on the same system so what is the same system here it is the bronchial smooth muscle so different receptors are histamine will act on h1 receptor to produce bronchoconstriction whereas adrenaline will act on bronchial smooth muscles especially on the beta 2 cells beta 2 cells thereby it produces bronchodilation bronchodilation so please remember adrenaline is a physiological antagonist of histamine so this you should remember one more such example of physiological antagonist is uh, glucagon and the insulin so they both act on the same system but their response is opposite 
insulin will going to decrease the glucose levels whereas glucagon will going to increase the glucose levels so this was all about the simple very important high yielding topic on physiological antagonist or physiological antagonism they are also called as very very important thing to remember is physiological antagonist are also called as functional antagonism functional antagonism if you get a question in your exams like functional antagonism so whatever we discussed till now holds good so physiological antagonism is also called as functional antagonism so if you find this video useful please do subscribe to my channel i love pharmacology for more updates on pharmacology thank you